what is going on sky squad we are back in the building i want to say a happy sunday to you guys out there if you happen to be watching the chat good morning to you drop your location down in that good chat if you feel like it because you know we like to know where our people are watching from and if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so and hit me with a text message at 202-918-3386 so that i can send you a text message every time a new video drops now it's sunday y'all I got some things to do, but I had to come up in here and let y'all know exactly what's been going on in the world of reality TV and pop culture today, okay? Now, first thing we're going to talk about is Phaedra Parks and when exactly she's going to be returning to TV. We got some tea on Mary Cosby, who I like to call Mary J. Cosby, okay, because she lets the girls have it. And then we're going to be talking about Wendy Williams, all right? So first things first on the menu, and I just want to say happy Sunday to everybody in the chat. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, let's go ahead and get down to the biz naive, okay? First things first, Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip Season 2. Phaedra Parks will be returning to our television screens coming May or june now i had previously heard june however y'all know peacock could change their mind at any point in time with their programming and we do know that real housewives of miami will be all the way done by that point in time because i'm assuming that they're going to do one real housewives type show at a time and real housewives zone on instagram is letting us know that the t is that the show will be back in may or June. Now we say be back because Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip was airing first on Peacock, but it is now airing on Bravo. Okay. So you guys can check that out. So if you are a Phaedra fan, chime down in the chatterization if you are a fan of that good Phaedra Parks. Okay. The Southern Belle, baby. Um, let us know if you're happy about her return in the chat. Thank you so much, Toya, for your super chat. It says, holding up my finger and stepping out of the church. Hey, family, not the church, boo, not the church. All right. I'm excited about this. I know that this show is going to be a complete and utter hot mess of a Real Housewives show because of the cast. And I'm all the way here for it. Okay. All the way here for it. All right. So now we got to talk about Mary Cosby. Let's go on ahead and take it down to that good Salt Lake City, baby. And shout out to our friends over at OMFG Reality TV for capturing this bit of information. Now, we talked to you guys previously about how, you know, there was the report from page six that said Mary Cosby exits the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City after two seasons. Then we talked about Mary Cosby basically saying this story is not true. This is a complete fabrication, a complete lie. I have not spoke to anybody. Well, that, in fact, Mary, may be the issue that you ain't spoke to nobody. OK, because what you may what she may not know is that she has gotten the grind, the, the, the ax. OK, because if you ain't talked to nobody. That might lead you to realize that they ain't calling you fulfillment potentially okay but now we got word from entertainment weekly that she definitely not returning okay so they basically say from entertainment weekly despite having denied reports of her departure from the show on social media mary cosby has not been filming on season three and bravo has no plans to film with her entertainment weekly has learned a rep for Cosby did not immediately reply to Entertainment Weekly's request for comment. So here's what then happened, y'all. Bravo didn't make a statement themselves. Bravo told Entertainment Weekly, we not filming with her, okay? Um, and we don't have no plans to film with her, okay? She, she, bye, bye, bye. That's basically what they're saying right here. Now, for me, I think for a lot of people, you know, Mary added a lot of dynamics to this show. Whether people liked her or not, she often got herself in a lot of trouble for the things that she said, okay? But a lot of the people gravitated to her because she had a no-nonsense, I'm going to keep it real with you type of attitude, and a lot of the girls on the show couldn't take it. Because to a certain degree on these shows, you got to play a little bit of the game, right? There's a little bit of game that you got to play. You got to kind of mix it up with the ladies. And when people don't play that game, it, it it's a shock to the system, right? But... Mary J. Cosby, 
had decided that she was going to keep it all the way 100 and she wasn't going to act for the cameras. And ultimately, that don't work on reality TV. Now, listen, if you want to keep it real, definitely keep it all the way real. But again, the network is going to want you to mix it up with the ladies and have friends with people. Now, I will say this that was, that was interesting. I think Mary revealed this in her Twitter conversation that we know she's friends with Meredith. And we know that at least Jen Shaw was concerned about her enough to reach out to her after the reunion when she did not show. So there may be hope for that relationship. But otherwise, Bravo is saying, nah, player, we out of here. OK, so I don't know, y'all. Will you miss Mary Cosby on The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City? Let us know down in the comment section down below okay now we got to talk about something and i'm going to go ahead and give you guys a bit of a trigger warning okay it's a bit of a trigger warning we got some news to talk about with wendy williams that ain't sounding too hot to me you know what i'm saying but we're going to talk about it nonetheless because it is making the news in pop culture right at this very second the story has been picked up by the sun Story has been picked up by the Jasmine brand. So I will place all of the links down in the description down below. But first, before we get into the main course, had you guys been keeping up with the Wendy Williams show in general? Just chime down in the chat and let me know if you had been keeping up with the Wendy Williams show and all of the recurring guest hosting spots, okay? Now, I have not, to be very honest with you, I am interested in the Wendy Williams show when it is Wendy Williams. Okay. I will tell you that I do feel like Sherry Shepard has done an amazing job. When I, when I did watch a couple of episodes, I did also see a few episodes of Leah Remini, and I guess it's Whitney Cummings. That It definitely feels like a different show when the two of them are hosting. It feels like they're doing their own thing, and this is not the Wendy Williams formula. Okay. Now, two things. To, of, of note that are being reported by page six one is that staffers let me go ahead and put this down here in the um in the thing because y'all know how you know <laughs> you gotta keep it you gotta keep it alleged in the streets um page six is reporting that staffers are upset with upper management because they feel like upper management is not leaning into the culture and by what what i mean by culture i mean black culture okay for instance, they were saying that, and I'm paraphrasing, they were saying that staffers were upset because for the first week of Black History Month, they had Michael Rappaport on there, who is not Black, okay? When they could have had a variety of Black hosts hosting the show for Black History Month, they chose to have Michael Rappaport. And they are also saying that Michael Rappaport, according to the article, is not necessarily a ratings winner. Listen, Michael Rappaport, I think he has his place in pop culture, but I feel like it's somewhere over there, like, you know, on a podcast or something like that, where people, you know, the people want to hear him somewhere over there. But otherwise, I mean, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. But y'all might feel differently. OK. Um. Oh, it's 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 is it Michelle Visage? Is that her name? OK. Um. Yeah, so so that's the first part of the story. The second part is that they feel like they don't really like Leah Remini. This is the staffers, allegedly, okay? And again, allegedly, don't necessarily like Leah Remini hosting the show because a lot of them feel like the upper brass are trying to basically test out a Leah Remini-style show, and they're using the Wendy Williams platform to do it. And a lot of them feel like, and I'm again paraphrasing, but do that somewhere else, right? We all know, similarly to how when Nick Cannon did his stint on the Wendy Williams show, it does provide a bit of a testing ground by the nature of exactly what it is. You're guest hosting, you're filling in, people are looking. It's not going to be a total and complete surprise that the network begins to look at different people like, hmm. Mm, they might be good for something 
mm, Nick Cannon did real good with the people and did real good with the ratings. So we think that this is an opportunity for us to take him over here and do this with him over here. Hopefully they're looking at the good Sherry and they're saying, look, let's, let's take a look at her over here as well. That's all I'm hoping for. Okay. That's all I'm hoping for. The other thing is that they are a legend in the article. And I will put it again in the description down below is that Leah apparently is refusing to talk about celebrities. Like she doesn't want to talk about the celebrities during hot topics. And it's like, uh, have you not seen the Wendy Williams show? Like, if you want to talk again, here's my thing. If you want to sit up here and you want to talk about your personal life and you want to talk about what you do when you come to New York and what type of popcorn and ice cream y'all eating when y'all walking around, because I've seen the episode, I've seen a couple of episodes, then I think that you probably, again, need your po podcast and you need it over there. OK, go do it on Spotify. OK, Spotify, take it over there. But leave it off the Wendy Williams show, because. There is a way that, and I feel like we try to do that here on this channel, there is a way that you can talk about celebrities and you could talk about reality TV stars where you can do it and it's not necessarily nasty or negative. You know what I'm saying? So if you can't strike that balance of being able to do and deliver hot topics, then you again need to take yourself over there and do it someplace else. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying do it where you... you this, that's not what we're looking at Wendy Williams for. We want to know what the people doing, okay? And I feel like Sherry Shepard does a great job of doing th that very thing. She understands the business. She understands how to keep her relationships, but she also understands how to tell the stories and break them down and make them relatable to people and also add in her own little spin on it too, right? So, I mean, it's possible. You could do that, right? So anyway, I'm off of my diatribe on that, y'all. Please forgive me because I did go down a slight little rabbit hole, but I do feel passionately about, you know, if you're going to fill in for somebody, fill in and do the job. You know what I'm saying? You know what the job entails. And if they want to test you out, let them test you out over there. Bottom line. Over there. That's the term for the day. <laughs> now, I want to give a shout out to the Jasmine brand. If I'm a highlighter, um, some some people that's doing some content about these stories i'm definitely y'all know who i'm gonna try to who i'm gonna try to highlight you know ain't no shame in my game that's how I, that's how we rocking over here so the story is that wendy williams bank accounts have been frozen okay um and we're talking millions of dollars but the t is that Wells Fargo is allegedly suspecting that there is some dementia, which has that word has been thrown around quite a bit with regards to Wendy Williams these days. And they're saying that they're locking not only her out, but people and personnel from her talk show out of her account. Now, what I will tell you is that the Jasmine brand has the actual court documents where she is trying to get back into the account. And I will let you guys go to the Jasmine brand to actually view those documents in its entirety because they have the T over there, all right? But just let me give you a little bit of a breakdown of the story. Basically, according to them, and also according to the Sun, all right, um, she's allegedly demanding that a bank give her access to her accounts, all right? And she's had to file legal documents to try to get Wells Fargo to lay off of the freezing of her accounts. But the banks allegedly suspect some type of financial exploitation, dementia, or undue influences, okay? So according to these documents, she hasn't been able to get any access to her accounts in over two weeks. All right. So what is going on with the Wendy Williams money at this point? I just want to put this in perspective for you guys. OK, and let me hop back on the screen real quick. Can you imagine? <clears throat> a scenario where you are going to the bank or you have to go to the ATM and you 
cannot get you cannot take out a hundred dollars or go into the store go into the grocery store to make your weekly groceries okay and your card don't work your apple pay don't work your debit card don't work then can you imagine and i'm sure she's not the person doing the shopping but just for the sake of argument right can you imagine everybody in you at the corner store that everybody knows you at and you take out every last single car and don't none of them work can you imagine can you imagine and i'm sure worthy view like you say she has she could have other accounts right i'm sure she we all i mean listen i'm gonna tell you the truth y'all if we don't talk a lot about finances on this channel i will probably save some of these conversations for other channels for my other for my backup channel but i will tell you guys this keep your money in separate accounts okay have a couple of different accounts have a credit union and this is not financial advice this is entertainment okay let me state that because you got to give these types of disclosures but my general philosophy is have a credit union okay also a regular bank account and i would also have some i mean you ought to have your investment i have my investment accounts let me say me okay all these play all i have accounts in separate places so if one place go down go to another one okay also you going or at least myself let me say this because i don't want to again pretend like i'm giving the people financial advice but i'm telling you what i do keep a little money in insurance as well okay get you uh, i have a little universal uh an index universal life insurance policy so that you can have some money that can't nobody touch there either okay if you need some more information about how that work email me okay and i will direct you to to the people that you need to uh that you might want to do more further research with okay just a little life stuff that i wanted to drop on y'all just in case all right but anyway back to the story back to the story all right so apparently there's a request for an emergency order because the claim is that the bank is in possession of several millions million dollars worth of funds so the question is has she been locked out of her own bank account um the court documents okay according to court documents and her attorney apparently her former financial advisor advised the bank that wendy was not of sound mind as well as some other op allegations so whoever her financial advisor was have made these allegations that she's not in the best place mentally and that is why this whole situation has occurred all right now it gets deeper as you go down this rabbit hole because they're also saying that wells fargo has justified its decision to keep her from her accounts by referencing their authority under some other type of client agreements to pause or reject instructions to a proposed transaction so from what i gather is that there's already been agreements in place that should something like this occur they have the right to basically say no we're not going to allow you to make this transaction to make this withdrawal or to do any of that because if they suspect that there is some sort of mental issue going on or some type of undue influence or exploitation then they can basically do as they please to put a pause on the spending of those funds but the court docs are stating that she's suffering imminent and irreparable financial damage as a result of this situation it's just very sad to me because 
what this basically tells us is from the outside looking in is that there is there's something there's definitely something going going down here that is yeah it's something going down and it's it's pretty sad to me because I definitely I don't know that it's looking good for her to be able to come back to the show from this. And it's one of those situations where it feels like if there's smoke, there's fire. Something is something is really going on. I think all we can do at this point is pray that you know things get turned around. And to not have access to your funds is, I can only imagine a very difficult thing. And and it's not something that I would wish on anybody. While I do want for her finances to be protected in the event that there is something greater going on, I think that there is a way to do that without totally freezing her out of her own accounts. So I don't know. I don't really know. It's it's um I don't know, man. It's crazy, but I will tell you to visit the Jasmine brand because you can read the the court docs there. They do have the court docs within that within that link. I would prefer that you guys visit the Jasmine brand to view those documents because they did, they were able to obtain them. So again, you guys can go to the site. I will place the link in the description down below. So you guys can read the court docs for yourself. Now, um, that's all we have for today. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell button, keep it locked to the channel guys. Um, and also shoot me a text message. If you want to join the texting community, I basically just use that to tell you anytime a video drops on this channel or on my backup channel. And um, it's a good way for us to keep in touch just in case anything happens. All right. So with that being said, guys, listen, y'all know I love y'all. Stay safe out there. Keep Wendy in your prayers and I'll catch you guys in the next video.